All right, new COVID-19 restrictions and guidelines announced by the province of Alberta. And how does that affect the Edmonton and area real estate market? It's exactly what we're getting into in this video. Now, because things can and do change quite quickly, especially nowadays, I'm going to timestamp this video. Time of recording is November 25th. If things have changed quite a bit and I've released a more accurate and time relevant video, I will link to it right here. If you don't see a link here right now, that's because I have not released a more updated video than this one. So if you do see a link there, just stop watching this one and go click to that one. Now, the new restrictions that were announced yesterday, November 24th, probably well aware of it. I think everyone is by now. I think what we were expecting is to see something more drastic like we saw back in spring and early June, which was a total complete lockdown. And if you listen to all the rumors, I think everybody was expecting that to come, especially if you were out shopping, especially grocery shopping. There was a lot of panic buying going on. I think people were expecting a total lockdown. However, that didn't happen. It doesn't mean that it can't still happen and might still happen because the province did announce a public or they did declare a public state of emergency or public health emergency, I think is what the wording was. Um, that could still be coming. It's just not in place right now. Now, how does this affect real estate? Well, I mean, bars are still open, restaurants are still open, but the province is targeting indoor social gatherings. And naturally, this is going to affect buying and selling real estate because that requires going in and out, out of people's homes, strangers' homes, essentially. Now, the province at the time of the announcement didn't really say any specifics on that as a, you know, according to the real estate industry and the real estate market, and neither did some of the industry associations like Area, the Alberta Real Estate Association, until now. I actually just got an email, and basically what they're saying is the open house ban is reinstated. So we uh, realtors are still open for business, but by appointment only. And what they're saying here is showings can continue with appointment only and limited to two family members at a time. Now, traditionally an open house was a great way to you know, bring the public into the home, see it and get it exposed to as many buyers as possible. But that obviously is now changed because open houses are banned. It doesn't mean that you can, still can't effectively sell your home. It just means you have to change how you do it. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video is what's going to happen with the real estate market as far as listings and sales and pricing and all that kind of stuff. Nobody knows, right? I, <laughs> trust me, I wish I had that kind of information. If I had a crystal ball, then I probably wouldn't be recording this video right now. I'd probably be a billionaire on my yacht with my family. So we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what is going to happen to listings and pricing and the market, all those kinds of things. All we do know is that things are going to change. They already have changed. And all we can do is react and adapt or sorry, I shouldn't say react, be proactive to it and adapt to the changes that are coming. So if you do have to actively engage the real estate market, I mean, whether there's a pandemic going on or not, you might have to buy a home or you might have to sell your home. That doesn't quite change whatever's going on in the world, right? Well, if you do have to do those things anyways, you're going to want to work with a real estate agent who has adopted technology and become technologically savvy in their business because especially with these guidelines in place, it can help make this transition. You know, it's kind of a stressful time anyways, but especially with a pandemic, it become even more stressful. It can help smooth out this ride a little bit. So back to selling, for example, just because open houses are now banned, it doesn't mean that you, uh, you know, a real estate agent such as myself can't still effectively market your home and still bring people into your home. It just has to be a by appointment or maybe it's done virtually, right? Whether that's with you know, a phone and FaceTime or Zoom meetings, doing video marketing such as this, it can still be done. And even on the buying side, it's kind of the same thing. You know, maybe a buyer isn't exactly feeling that comfortable going out into the public and looking at a bunch of different homes. Well, maybe the real estate agent instead goes out and previews that home, those homes for you. And, you know, while they're there, they FaceTime you or take some video or, or do a Zoom call or whatever. Just you know, adopt and embrace technology because these things are, are our friend and they can be our friend, and especially during a time like this. So that's kind of really what I wanted to say in this video is, you know, nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen with pricing and things like that. But what we do know is we can embrace the technology that we have in place and you're going to want to, you know, use a real estate agent because not all real estate agents have quite embraced technology the way they should. You're going to want to make sure that you are partnering up with a real estate agent who can do those things and who has embraced these technology, these new technologies to make this, you know, 
kind of stressful situation already, a lot less stressful. And if you made it this far in the video, why don't we take this relationship to the next step and consider subscribing to this channel. Not only do I talk about all things real estate, but also specifically the Edmonton real estate market, Edmonton and surrounding real estate market, and especially as things change and are constantly changing and evolving, I'll be updating more videos like this. So consider subscribing. If you need to reach out to me, you have any questions about buying or selling and using technology to our advantage during these current times, I will put my information in the description below and consider watching another one of these videos I'm gonna put up on the screen right now. See you in the next video.